I, uh, all right, you gotta slow down. I'm trying to. I, yo, I, I only took a little bit of Spanish. You got. I, I hear what you're saying, but yeah. I, oh, all right, okay. All right, okay, okay. All right, okay. I'm feeling you. Okay. All right, okay. All right, okay, okay. All right, okay. I'm feeling you. Yeah. Uh, hello, my name is Dr. Heron Rana, and I'm here to talk to you about uh, mesothelioma, or uh, asbestosis. It's called asbestosis because, well, it's caused uh, primarily due to asbestos uh, exposure, work-related, or what have you, right? Uh, what happens is you breathe in the asbestos particles, and uh, it messes up the, the lining uh, of, your, of your lungs, and your pleural cavity, which is your inner inner chest cavity, right? Uh, the, this inner lining is called an uh, outer lining. My bad. Woo. Uh, this outer lining is called the mesothelium. That's why you get. That's how you get the name mesothelioma. It is cancer of the mesothelium, right? Um, what happens is the cells, uh, your cells, they phagocytose the asbestos crystals, right? And these crystals become uh, incorporated into uh, your DNA, into the chromatin, right, your DNA. And uh, what happens, uh, I don't know whether you know about uh, the mitotic process, right, but uh, in your mitotic processes there are these organelles called uh, centrosomes, right, and uh, in the centrosomes the centromere. And these centromeres produce uh, spindle fibers which pull your chromosome, the, the duplicated DNA, uh, to opposite ends of the dividing cell, right? And so what happens is that, uh, well, it, the asbestos particles mess up the interaction between the chromosome and the spindle fiber. So that just causes all sorts of problems with the uh, mitotic process and the cell becomes cancerous, right? You know, what also happens is uh, what can happen is as the asbestos can can cause switching of the not switching but like messing up. Nah, that's 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 the wrong description. Yeah, switching's better. Switching of the chromosome arms, right? So, uh, well, the gene the genetic just pattern is just just messed up, right? And um, yeah, yeah, it could also, uh, it could also, uh, mediate, it can also mediate the, uh, the incorporation of foreign DNA into, uh, well, into your own DNA, and that, that messes up your tumor suppressor, you know, genes, right, which, uh, which are there to prevent malignancy, right, and, uh, because they're messed up, you don't have, you know, checks against uh, this cancerous cell. So therefore, this cell just keeps on multiplying. And um, yeah, that's how you get cancer. All right. Uh, yeah, symptoms. I don't, ha I don't have them memorized by heart. Hold on. Uh, let me pull them out. Uh, yeah, symptoms of mesothelioma include chest pain, shortness of breath, wheezing and cough, fatigue, anemia, fluid in your chest cavity, and uh, you start to cough up blood, right? In severe cases, uh, you can have intravascular clotting in your, you know, pulmonary arteries and all that, uh, jaundice, uh, I said this, pulmonary embolism, uh, ascites, and low blood sugar. It cause it'll also cause a uh, anemia, which um, yeah, if the cancer is spread to the abdominal cavity, uh, abdominal pain, your fluid in the abdomen, problems and bowel movements and uh, weight loss will be present. See, normally it would just affect the chest cavity, right? But uh, what happens is the asbestos particles get get transferred in the uh, in the lymphatic system, right? and it gets transferred into your abdominal cavity. That's how it all gets messed up. Um, yeah, so that's mesothelioma. Uh, what asbestos can actually, it can, it can do is it can, it can be embedded subdermally into your skin and then it can cause callus-like warts 
yeah, that's another thing that can happen. And, uh, oh, I forgot this. It, it, it causes plaque formation or like plaque buildup in the, the lining of your lung. And you can see this with x ray or, uh, what have you. All right. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's about it on the disease side. Uh, yeah, I'm Dr. Haran Ratna. Thank you for listening to me speak. Forces. <laughs> Thank you.